Hello everyone, this is part of a lecture series where we are going over 2010 Amy 1 math problems. In this lecture particularly we will solve problem number 3 and here's a view of this problem. So let me highlight some key facts given in the problem. We are given two equations and two unknowns basically and we are to solve um, this set of equations uh, ultimately we need to find the sum x plus y and that obviously can be represented as a fraction so I should be able to get that fraction at the end awesome let's just go ahead and plug in the um, the y from the first expression into the second one so uh, so let me start with the second expression x to the y is equal to y to the x and then I will substitute this y into both sides of the equation. So therefore I have x to the power 3 over 4x is equal to 3 over 4x raised to the x power. And those would be equivalent. Huh? Um, equivalently I can also rewrite the left hand side by using a simple trick of exponentiation x over 4 raised to the x power that would uh, simply multiply these two and we get the same thing so we are allowed to do that and that thing is equal to the same expression on the right hand side but then we just realize that we have two expressions which are equivalent to each other and they also share the same exponent so we would assume the basis would be the same but then we need to also recall the case where x can be a an even uh, power in that case even the basis being the same value but opposite signs is also allowed so in that case what we really want is the absolute value of these two terms in the base being the same inside the parentheses being the same so from that I can conjecture that x to the 3 over 4 is simply equal to plus or minus 3 over 4 x and then I can do some cross product here and then divide both sides by x to the power 3 fourths luckily I can do that division because I already know x cannot be 0 now this is tempting to say that x can be 0 but guess what happens then so you have 0 to the 0th power on the left hand side and then 0 to the 0th power on the right, right hand side 0 to the 0th power is simply uh, undefined so we cannot do that and so that luckily that's equivalent to 3 fourths here x to the 1 so therefore and then we can simply take this to the other side so we would have um, minus plus 4 over 3 is equal to x to the 1 fourth now we can take the fourth power of both sides but luckily the fourth power is an even power so, and I will no longer need to worry about the plus minus sign so that's awesome so we can establish that x is simply equal to taking the fourth power of the left hand side 4 raised to the fourth power I believe is 4 times 4 is 16 16 squared is 256 divided by 3 to the fourth power 9 times 9 is 81 so we have an answer for x and similarly we can plug it into our very first equation to find an expression for y as well so 3 4 x 3 over 4 and uh, 256 over 81 we multiply these luckily the 3 and the 81 simplify and then here we have a 64 so we would get a 64 over 27 for the value of y and therefore x plus y is equal to 256 over 81 plus 64 over 27 you can find the common denominator and add up the results you should get 448 divided by 81 as the final answer now the question is asking for the sum of the numerator and the denominator so therefore huh, 
from here we would get 4, 4, 8 plus 8, 1 is equal to um, 9, uh, 12, 5. And sure enough, that solves our problem. So therefore, the answer is 529 and we are done.